Yep, they're doing it again. The Mets are in LA for game two against the Dodgers. Bright and early, 1 p.m. local time. <laughs> Rob Manfred, why? I have to ask, why would you have a league championship series game play at 1 o'clock on a Monday? Ridiculous scheduling aside, the Dodgers won big last night, and today, with just three dependable starters on the roster, Dave Roberts would deploy a bullpen game. And uh, did not go well. Francisco Lindor leads off the game with a home run off Ryan Brazer. Cutter right down the middle. And Frankie's going to make you pay. Second inning, L.A. would trot out Landon Knack. And he quickly put two men on with a Starling Marte single and a Jesse Winker walk. Tyrone Taylor got himself a curveball right on a tee. And he'd smack it down the left field line to score Marte. With a base open and Lindor coming up, the Dodgers elected for Knack to give him the free pass, an intentional walk to bring up Mark Vientos. And after a nine-pitch battle that ended with Mark's third home run of the postseason, a grand slam that would blow the game wide open just in the second inning. The Dodgers were tied up all day by Sean Manaya. Man, has he been good this season and found an even greater level in October. Muncy would bring one back in the fifth with the solo shot, make it six to one. And then in the sixth, Sean walks Mookie and Teoscar, which shouldn't have been a big deal. He got a ground ball the second, but it took a weird hop off the mound and Iglesias botched it. A tough play, but a crusher for the Mets is that could have cleared the bases. Now they're loaded. Mendoza then pulled Manaya and brought in Phil Mayton. You get one out before Tommy Edmond delivered with the clutch two-run single, and now it's just a 6-3 to three lead for the Mets. Again, a playable ball. You see it just gets under Pete's glove, but Freeman at first acted as a nice screen. Makes it hard to see. Would have taken an incredible play. Another very tough break for the Mets. Dodgers keep on the pressure. Phil walks Muncy, but they'd finally get that double play ball after Kike hits another infield grounder. Very stressful inning, but it could have gotten a lot worse. The Dodgers would threaten in the eighth, which caused Edwin Diaz to come on a little earlier than planned, and he get Kike to fly out. Then in the ninth, more stress for Mets fans as Andy Pahe singled and Shohei walked, but Edwin Diaz locked in and struck out the next three. You got Mookie, Teoscar, and Freddie. A huge win for the Mets as, once again, this is what they do. All postseason, they've just found ways to win these games. Really needed to win one in LA, and they got it. And now they're headed to New York with three straight games in Queens.